Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a co-host in Google Meet. One of the big updates that Google announced over the summer is that you can now add up to 25 co-hosts to your Google Meet. So whether you launch a Meet from your just regular education account or from your Google Classroom, you can now quickly add a co-host. And to do that, all you have to do is go down to the bottom where uh, you see the little person icon. And then where the three dots are next to a name, you can click Grant Host Controls. And you'll see, I now get a notification on my other account that says, you're now a co-host. So now from my co-host account, you'll see I have the ability to mute participants and I can go up to host control and I have the ability to change these as well. And as the regular host, you can go back and you can remove those host controls at any time. One thing you do want to do um, is make sure that your host controls are turned on. Uh, and then when they are, your co-host will be able to limit who can share their screen, limit who can send messages. They can mute all with one click. They can end the meeting for all. And they can control who can join the meeting and how they can join with a quick access setting. So it's also important to know that as long as your admin has given you permission to record meetings, that when your host management is turned on, only the main host and any co-host can start a recording. If the host management is turned off, then only the users with permission by the admin to record a meeting can actually start a recording. This feature is already live, so you should have the ability to use this now. The ability to add co-hosts is available to Google Workspace Essentials, Enterprise Essentials, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, Business Standard, Business Plus, Education Fundamentals, Education Standard, Education Plus, and Teaching and Learning Upgrade customers. So this feature is really only unavailable to Google Workspace business starters, frontline and nonprofits, as well as just the basic G Suite uh, and business customers. One other really helpful thing that they added in this summer is the ability to search for people. So now if you have a large class or a meeting, instead of having to scroll through to try to find someone, you can just begin to search in their name and you'll see it comes up um, right away so that you can find a person really quickly. So giving educators the ability to add co-hosts really just gives teachers more control over their virtual classes. And if you know of any teachers that might be really excited to see this new update, please feel free to share this video with them. And make sure to check out the description below where there's links to other videos that uh, show you some of the updates that happened over the summer for different G Suite programs and softwares. Uh, so some stuff you might have missed that you might find helpful for this upcoming school year. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the EdTech Show by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on that notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.